Bring in Tony Dungy from Football Night in America. All right. Um, is this just another game for the Patriots against the Colts, Tony? You know, in some ways it isn't, but in a lot of ways it is. You have to understand the Bill Belichick um, M.O. He's never going to make more out of it than, than it is. Um, they, they do what they do every week. Yeah, there's going to be some incentive and some personal things in, in terms of what happened with Deflategate, but that's never going to come from the team's perspective. Well, but if they have a chance to put up 50, like Belichick's not going to ease off the accelerator. Absolutely not. And they, they're going to do that with everyone this year. I, I think we've kind of seen that already. Uh, and they certainly will do it if, if they have a chance to on Sunday night. Yeah, and that's why I was, I was listening to uh, Tom Brady's press conference. He said, look, I'm human here, but you never want to put up any bulletin board material. And I don't know if this is a, is this a rivalry between these two, considering how dominant the Patriots have been against the Colts recently? Well, it, it, it still is, and, and there's a lot of history, and it goes back to probably the early 2000s. And it's gone kind of back and forth. There was a, a period, 2001, 2002, 2003, they won most of them. Um, in the middle of the decade, the Colts won them, and it swung the other way. But I, I think it, it still is a rivalry, and uh, when you've got Luck versus Brady, it, it's probably going to continue to be that way for a while. What do you think of the question to Gary Kubiak that uh, are you thinking of giving Brock Osweiler some uh, – <laughs> how do you think that went over with Peyton? Not very well, and, uh, and it probably didn't go over very well with, with Kubiak. There aren't many teams who would be 5-0 and oh where they'd be saying – uh, are you thinking about making a quarterback change? And, and when you have a, a Hall of Fame quarterback there and you're 5-0, and oh, it's kind of a foolish question. I mean, I could see the question of what do you think's wrong with Peyton? Why is the offense sputtering? A lot of things you could ask, but I don't know many coaches that would say, hey, we're, we're undefeated and we've got a, a Hall of Fame quarterback, but we're going to make a change. But not a change, but could you see Osweiler? The, the offense hadn't scored enough for them to build up a lead where Osweiler – could get some run here uh, just to see how he's going to be. And if he is your future, then doesn't it make sense if you've catered your offense to a running game and defense that you at least give Osweiler a look in mop-up roles sometime during the season? Well, I think you're always looking to do that, but it, you know, it, it just hasn't happened yet. And uh, I guess um, well, Peyton won't you know, come the out time of games. Aaron Rodgers was behind Brett Favre. Did, did he get a look in, in mop-up roles? I, I don't think so. Yeah, but Favre wasn't on the decline the way Peyton probably is. And, uh, you know, Peyton won't come out of games, as you know, that he even now would not want to come out of a game. Well, you know, he came out of games when we were way ahead. Uh, they haven't been way ahead, and, and maybe that's it. <laughs> maybe he's trying to stay in the lineup. <laughs> yeah, I, I, th- I, I see something there. I know they're 5-0, and oh, and it's really difficult to say it, you're not making a quarterback change as much as you're just – I, I, it feels like Elway has already put this in place. Of this is They want to make sure they have a good running game in defense so they're not relying on Peyton as much as they have in the past. Correct? No, well, I think that was, yeah, that's their MO to try to win a Super Bowl. And they, they have the defense to do it. There's no question about it. They don't have the running game to do it right now for whatever reason. C.J. Anderson looked like he was going to give them that last year. Uh, but whether it's offensive line, whether it's new scheme, uh, it, it is just not happening. They're not running the football, and they're going to have to. They're going to have to run it better if they want to make a Super Bowl run. I don't know if you saw the quotes by Joe Montana. He was talking to Andrew Siciliano on the NFL Network. He said, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Who said that? Joe Montana. <laughs> well, um that's, I guess that's Joe's opinion. Um, I, I've heard that said before, and I've heard that said by, by some coaches and things, but uh, it's not something I, I subscribe to. I, you know, when I played for Coach Noel, uh, it was, you know, do what we do and make sure you're on top of your game. There, there was never any sense of we've got to cheat to win, and, and we won a couple of Super Bowls back then. Well, you know, baseball is where you hear that expression. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Mark Grace of the Cubs, I, I know, would always tell me that. But Montana says, you know, everybody does everything they can to possibly get a little bit of an edge. I mean, back when it wasn't illegal, but it was illegal, our guys used to spray silicone on their jerseys. The linemen, the defensive linemen, sure. couldn't get a hold of them, right? Sure. So that's gamesmanship that. or is that cheating? Well, it's cheating if it's against the rules. 
<laughs> and, and once they make a rule that you can't do it, then if you continue to do it, it it's, it's cheating. You know, everybody, the, the stick uh, a lot of things have come out, and, you know, before people kind of got aware of it, then, you know, people would say, okay, well, you can't do that. That's too much of a, uh, an edge. You know, the gloves, all, everything new, and then it gets legislated, and then you either have to abide by the rules or not. But, yeah, as far as trying to get the edge and do things that are a, a little bit more than everybody else does, yeah, everyone's going to do that, but not when it goes to something that's strictly against the rules. It should be fun Sunday night. I'll have to separate you and Rodney. Well, key, yeah, Rodney, we've got to keep him under control. Just tell him it's only <laughs> one game. Oh, it's more than that. <laughs> it's, it's more than that. Thank you, Coach. All right. See you Sunday. All right. Tony Dungy, Football Night in America.